So in today's video, we're going to describe some of the questions that we have when people call me about pocket doors and what kind of pocket door and what kind of door and what hardware and what do I need. So hopefully this video will help in deciding what you need and how to navigate if you're purchasing a Peterson pocket door or Hava products from me. So first of all, uh, you anytime I'm looking at a pocket door to build, usually I have two choices in my framing construction. Either I have a two by four wall construction or a two by six wall construction. And then there's two by eight and so on and so on. But normally those are the typical ones. If you're doing a two by four wall construction, that means you will most likely have an inch and three eighths door thickness. If you have a two by six wall construction, you'll have a door that will be um, inch and three quarter to two inches in thickness. Uh, we just had a door that we put in um, in Montecito and the client decided to go to a two and a quarter door and we had to trim all our flat studs from inch and a half to inch and a quarter, which makes our studs thinner and more wobbly. But I think if you're going to go with a two and a half inch thick door, you should go to like a two by eight wall construction. So that's my, um, my, my encouragement. So another question people ask is, uh, well, what track hardware do I need if I'm buying Hawa? And I would say there's four choices that I've used and they go from Hawa 40 all the way to 160. And if you look at Hawa's website, there's a, there's a lot of information there you can use. And for a Hawa 40, the door has to be under 88 pounds. That means if you're adding a mirror to the door or you're adding hardware to the door, it has to be under 88 pounds for their specifications. Uh, Hallway 80 has to be under 176 pounds. The Hallway 120 is under 264 pounds. And um, the Hallway 160 is under 352 pounds. So Here's how we navigate Peterson Pocket Door. Once you get into Peterson Pocket Door Systems, you'll come to this, um, this front page. And what we decided to do is many people wanted complete systems. So if you go to complete systems and click this, then you come to two options, two by four wall construction or two by six wall construction. So once you click into like two by four wall, that means you're committing to, and I should say this on my website, is an inch and three eighths door. That means this hardware is set up for inch and three eighths. It's under 88 pounds. If you look up here, under 88 pounds. All right. Now, this hardware right here is Hawa B. If you click on Hawa B fitting set, this, this hardware right here is actually embedded in the door. <clears throat> which is helpful because the space between top of door and track could be an eighth of an inch. So that's what we use. If I come over here and I click 24 inches because I have a 36 inch wide door, this then tells me what I'm gonna send you in the length of your header system. That means you have a 36 inch wide door that's gonna be inch and three eighths. That, that means I'm sending you hardware that will be built for that inch and three eighths door. So another thing, uh, let's go back to complete systems again. This time let's click on two by six um, wall construction hardware. Now this steel is two inches wide versus the two by four steel is inch and a half wide. And um, when you get that, both of these are gonna work for these different applications. So again, if you're looking at the hardware, you're gonna say, well, my door is gonna be 36 inches wide. Okay, that's gonna tell me how big of a track and the beam I'm gonna send you. Your door weight is under 176 pounds and you want to use Hawa 80B fitting set and upper track. 
okay? Again, the hardware that I like to use is this hardware right here, which is the Hawa B. Now, you could go back and say, well, I wanna look at just the track hardware. So you click the track hardware only. Then you can come over here and click on 40Z. Now you can see that the hardware is a little cheaper but the hardware sits on top of the door. That means the space between door and track is larger. And then you have to add this half inch piece of molding to your pocket door. And lately we haven't been doing that because it doesn't look as good. Um, another great thing about Hawa B products is that it's easier to get the door out of the opening because you don't have to take off any molding the door actually slides out past these wheels right here and the door slides out there instead of breaking your back trying to get the door out after taking molding off. So it's a great feature. That 653.50 is a deal if you're looking at um, an easy way to get the door out and in. Another thing that people ask me is how much space do I need at the top of my uh, frame unit? And I would say if you go to my resources and click on architects, you're going to get this page here, the same thing I have here. And when you click this on, this shows how I've done some pocket doors and how I frame them and the kind of the space that you could look for that you need between your structural header, which is right here, and the floor. And usually I tell my framers that are framing in front of me on our jobs to just leave eight inches. You know, ideally we want to be, if this is a seven foot door or an eight foot door, that means you could always raise this header up higher and just put it to your double plates and just leave as much room as you can. But if you got a 12 foot ceiling, I wouldn't go all the way up there because your studs get too flimsy the taller they get. So hopefully that helps with that. Um, hardware kits. Let's say you live in Oklahoma. You don't want to spend the, co uh, spend the money on shipping a uh, piece of steel. Or let's say you have a four foot wide pocket door you could actually purchase just the kit. This kit right here, you can buy just this two by four assembly right here with no beam. You can buy your own beam from your metal yard in your town and put all, drill the two holes on each end precisely. And there's instructions and a video that I've made that shows how to do that. And then you can just buy this kit from me and then that way you don't have to pay the money with the steel, which steel's really cheap. It's like, you know, you can get two pieces of steel eight feet long for $40. So what a deal. So let's say that you have a two by six wall construction. You can see this kit right here that you can buy for $133.47 and um, everything you need to put that together. So under um, Y. Peterson, this is just information that I've set in here so that it could make it easier for why your client should buy this. So let's say you're a general contractor or finished carpenter, you can have this information here to say, hey, client, Mr. Simon, this is why it's important to have this pocket door assembly, this hardware, in your home so we can adjust it because all homes are going to go out of um, out of whack you know things are going to shrink things are going to shift concrete's going to move under resources here's uh, installation videos so my encouragement is for you do install something like this go to some of my videos and look at see what's appropriate for you to watch so that you can see how I do this. It'll make the job much easier when you're actually installing it. Installation guide. I did this a long time ago and I was trying to find ways to take uh, pocket or frames and retrofit them. I have information on here and articles that I've written on that. I don't do that anymore. It's just 
and I should probably just delete it, but I haven't. But uh, it's here if you want to do something like that. And I did TM Cobb, LNL. I did a Hafela pocket door frame. Um, but I thought it's actually easier to build your own frame uh, inside your pocket door. So here's instructions how to do those things. Again, I showed you about architects, that page. I'm actually getting another plan drawn very shortly on two by four wall construction and a plan on doing pairs of pocket doors. So even though, even though I've shown you a video on how to do that type of construction, um, I'm gonna have a plan for you. I hope this video helped with uh, how to navigate Peterson pocket door and how to order and how to get information for you and your project. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, give me some comments, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.